all right my people welcome back onto this channel thanks so much for subscribing to this channel our prayer has been that the good lord will continue to support you all in all your endeavors as you keep supporting this channel we say a very big amen to that well my people hmm, this is another one reaching us finally tunumbu has no reacted to no the fact that oshibajo is trying to betray him well until this one it says i was asked to nominate three christians as vice president to buhari but insisted on oshibaju surrendered my right to him all right and then tinumbu had no complaint this all right my people the names in details well onto this former governor of lagos state bola met tinumbu and a presidential aspirant on the platform of the whole progressives congress has claimed that he surrendered his right and an opportunity to be a running mate to president muhammad buhari in 2015 to yemi Oshibajo, who is currently the vice president speaking at the presidential lodge in abel kuta Ogun state while addressing the apc delegates ahead of the party's primaries tunumbu said he had wanted to be president at the time but was approached by buhari to become his vice president after the latter's repeated attempt at becoming the president of nigeria However, as efforts were still underway to structure the APC properly, he said he had an obligation to bring in a Christian to become Buhari's running mate as the religious views of the president, vice president, and then senate president cannot be the same. The party had requested three Christians politicians. Tinumbu said adding that he insisted on nominating one candidate he said despite pleas from various quarters to him to reconsider his position he insisted on nominating Oshimbaju, who successfully clinched the position well he stated buhari asked me to be his vice president he said because the first time he contested he picked or Kadigo and then his running mate, a uh, flamboyant, fun loving Catholic, but Nigerians didn't vote for him. The second time he picked another Igbo, Ume Ezeoke, Nigerians didn't vote for him. Even if he brings the Pope to run as his vice, Nigerians will not vote for him. But you, with six governors, never lost an election before, come and be my vice president well he knew all the calculations then favored us but i told him to let us build the party first and then when we finished building and then brought in people from the pdp saraki now so that those from pdp will not get anything if worry a muslim is president hi um, a muslim becomes the vice president he won't be able to become the senate president because he is also a muslim we all cannot be muslims that was how they started the campaign of calumny against me well, so I told them I have a Christian candidate that I can nominate to save this party. That was how I nominated Vice President Oshimbajo and they surrendered my right to him. They asked me to submit three names, Yemi Kadozo, Wale Edun, and then Yemi Oshibajo. I told them if I bring three names, I have opened the door for a thief. You might add one more name and then go for that fourth person. So I insisted on submitting only one name because I am surrendering my rights. Well, I was approached by the Ulamas who wanted me to reconsider, but I refused. That was how I nominated Oshibaju. That is the truth. I have not mentioned it anywhere else. All right, and then this exactly what. Bola Metunumbu had no no complaint 
to the people where he has narrated all this and to know that hey, 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 look at this same Oshiba Joe that I nominated for this position look at what he is now doing to me why are you people now against me all right and the majority of people do actually you no know, reacted onto this one well you brought in Oshiba Joe you brought in but um president muhammadu buhari simply because of your evil agenda and at the end of the day it will never go well with you well majority of people are not even happy they are not even ready to listen to that because the apc regime had never in fact did not favor anyone as far as the movement is concerned okay and then according to Femi Adebayo. Okay, Agarakwe Emmanuel says, Well, educated old man like you and then a leader in post altering out this rubbish. And then it has been replied by Femi Adebayo. It says, Well, Grandpa, you know, stress is not good for you. Go rest. I beg. All right, so that's the only thing people can say to him that he should just go and rest. Well, okay, you lied. Ogatinubu, you didn't nominate Oshibaju for vice president's job. Raouf Aregba Shola Fayemi, ETC did that. You wanted to be Buhari's vice and uh, he rejected a joint Muslim ticket knowing it wouldn't have sailed through. You are too greedy and then uh, over ambitious. Okay. And uh, this has been said by Celius <laughs> Emmanuel. Okay. You know, a lot of people on this are you no know, tackled bo uh, Tinumbu. I don't know why I'm calling him Buhari. <laughs> <laughs> they've tackled tinumbu on no different aspects well someone is saying that your point is explicit but hmm, it stopped by saying that well um, uhamba charles says well but oshiba just said recently that tinumbu is not the one who nominated him but former oshun governor engineer aregbe shola all right and then solomon on last sunday on this as well solomon was made king at the expense of absalom so what are you talking about well old man go and rest you have nothing to offer surrender your right are you a christian okay my brother my sister exactly majority of people have actually tackled bola ahmed tinumbu on this one that oh you are even saying you surrendered your rights well if it is your right then you you should have become the vice president simply because they needed uh christian and then you are a muslim well i think i quite understand some parts that bola ahmed tinumbu is trying to pass well if he had chosen someone else i believe oshibajo wouldn't have become the vice president i think i quite understand his part his plight on this one well the truth of the matter is the apc government never did in fact never did a great deal for the people the apc government disappointed a lot of people and i think that is just the you know the basis of the old issue and then as it stands right now everyone is like as far as apc government is concerned we don't want apc government to rule anything for any position in nigeria and that's exactly what it is because as it stands right now everybody uh everybody is suffering don't let me say everybody has suffered everybody is suffering because we are still in it we are suffering simply because of this APC regime and then simply because Bola Metinumbu brought in President Muhammadu Buhari and uh, you know, the old truth had been that even they themselves are now you know, going against themselves and I think this is what majority of people call you know, what they call men nemesis and uh, I think nemesis is catching up with Bola Metinumbu and uh, that is how it's going to be because hmm, they have said this time these times with a number that politics is a dirty game and uh, now I understand why politics is called a dirty game all right my people this is what it is right now on to this one what more can we say meanwhile let me have your own take on this my people and remember to subscribe for more updates if you are new on this channel all right thanks and god bless